Hi, I'm Megan Mitchell, and I've partnered with Nordstrom to show you how to make a holiday dish in style. Today, I'm making a butternut squash stuffing with cranberries and sausage. It is so easy and so delicious. I can't wait to show you how. I'm gonna finish breaking down my butternut squash. And I already peeled and halved it, cut into, I don't know, half inch cubes. I love stuffing. And I feel like I always make the same thing. So I wanted to add a couple more things to it, butternut squash and not gonna lie, came out pretty well. On a sheet tray with a little extra virgin olive oil. And I'm roasting this before I actually put it in the stuffing because the stuffing doesn't really cook that long. You just cook it to warm it through. I wanna make sure the butternut squash is cooked all the way through. It's nice and roasted and I get some caramelization on it. So some salt and some freshly cracked pepper. Toss this together. I wanna make sure every little piece is coated in the oil and the salt and the pepper. You guys look so good. So excited to roast you. All right, I'm gonna pop these in the oven. I have it preheated to 400 degrees. I'm gonna roast them for about 20, 25 minutes until they're golden brown and soft. My butternut squash is beautifully roasted. I'm gonna let it hang out for a while while I work on the onions and the celery. Turn on my cast iron skillet. I'm gonna drizzle in a little extra virgin olive oil. And to the pan, I'm gonna add my onion that I've chopped up and my celery. And I just wanna sweat these down because I don't really want much color on them, I just want them to soften. Stir these, and this will take 15 to 20 minutes. Immediately when I start cooking celery and onion, like that smell just reminds me of Thanksgiving. I get to be with my family, I get to cook a lot of good food, and I get to drink. Amazing. All right, I'm gonna season this with a little salt and pepper. This helps break down the vegetables just, just a smidge bit. Just keep an eye on these veggies. Like I said, they'll take 15 to 20 minutes. You don't need to stand over the pan and watch them like a creep, but you could do that. My vegetables are thoroughly sweated. And in this bowl, I have some sourdough cubes that I've already toasted. I use sourdough baguette or sourdough loaf, whatever you prefer, whatever you can find. I just cube them up and then I pop them in the oven till they're nice and crispy. And I'm gonna scoop out my vegetables. I'm gonna put them right into this bowl. You need quite a large bowl because this is what we're mixing everything in. Now I'm going to brown my turkey sausage. Making a turkey and putting turkey in my stuffing. It made sense to me, so. And this is bulk turkey sausage. If you can't find it in bulk, that's okay. You can buy it in the casings and then just squeeze it out of the casings. You just wanna cook this until it's browned and cooked through. My other favorite part about fall, besides Thanksgiving, is fall fashion because I don't have to wear tank tops anymore. So that's why I like to wear these long sleeves. I also feel a little pilgrimy, but like an updated cool version of a pilgrim. Got this belt. And the best part is this entire outfit is from Nordstrom. One stop shop. I don't have time to bebop around town. I just wanna go one place and then come back and make my stuffing and the entire Thanksgiving meal. All right, my sausage is cooked. Bring my, my big bowl back and then just drain it. If there's any residual fat, you can drain it from it. So while it just hangs out, I'm going to chop my herbs. And I have some thyme, rosemary, and sage, which just makes me think of Thanksgiving. Let's just finally chop these up. Into the bowl, rosemary in, sage in. I have some cranberries, some dried cranberries. Adds a little chewiness, a little tartness, and then our butternut squash, which is cooled. Just put that directly in. Basically, everything's cooked. So we're just popping it in the oven to hang out for a while, to absorb all the flavors. Okay, also some poultry seasoning. Okay, now let's stir this together before we add the stock. Go to the bowl and kind of scoop under. Uh, I use low sodium chicken stock because I can put as much salt as I want in. Pour about half of this in. And then you're gonna let it absorb into the bread. And then we're gonna give it a little stir, let it sit, I don't know, 10 minutes or so. Okay, so this looks thoroughly stirred. And I have a greased baking dish, a trusty spoon. I'm just gonna scoop this into the dish. The bread gets nice and crunchy and crispy on top. And the cranberries kind of plump up because of the stock. And it just, just all goes so well together. And like I said, if you like your stuffing a little drier, a little crunchier, you're gonna drown it in gravy, then don't add any more stock. If you like it a little wetter, add a little more stock. Really scientific. Add more stock. When in doubt, add more stock. 
and this baby's ready to go. All right, so I have my oven preheated. I knocked it down to 350 because I roasted everything else at 400. So I'm gonna pop it in for 35 to 40 minutes. Just keep an eye on it. If it starts to brown, cover it with foil, and uh, it'll be ready to go. Uh, how good does that look? Mm. So psyched, I'm really proud of myself. Good job, Megan, you did it. You did it. This is so gorgeous. The top is nice and crunchy. The cranberries have plumped up. It smells insane. I can't wait. I'm gonna bring this to the table. Ooh, Ooh. so good. Wow. Yeah. Yum. Oh, <laughs> and then we'll just like Alrighty. rotate. Yeah. That's fancy. Okay. I'm gonna be the last plate. I want crunchy bits. Okay. Right do you want me to put all of it on your plate? <laughs> Whatever's left goes on yours. Okay. That's how it works. Oh my God! Stop being so good. Thank Great. you. Cheers. Happy Thanksgiving. Cheers. Yeah.